Toronto's light favorites with the most music at work. <laughs> 98.1 CHFI. There's Katy Perry's California Girls. 819 with Aaron and Mike in the morning. We have some very special guests here with us from SeaWorld. There's this ginormous <laughs> frog. A pixie frog? Yes, and a it pixie jumped, frog. It jumped and I, I jumped. I'm telling you, I haven't moved that fast in the morning in a long, long time. The name time. is very misleading. It is actually the second largest frog and it comes from Africa. It's and enormous. I'm well, we missed them, but they must have missed us, too. We have some friends here from SeaWorld and Bush Gardens and Discovery Cove yes. and Aquatica in Orlando, Florida. And uh, they have brought other furry friends. And on the microphone is Jay Stutz, who is the assistant curator, Bush Gardens, Tampa. Animal expert. You've seen him on Good Dog You, Animal Planet, Discovery Channel. And, and he's worked in movies like Benji, Lassie, uh, Beethoven, Babe, Mr. Ed, Curious George, Ace Ventura, Dr. Doodle. You wouldn't recognize my face, but oh. the animals that I've trained you would recognize. Amazing, Jay. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Friends. We brought a lot of a variety for you today. Okay, so why don't we meet them? What do you say, Mike? All right, let's uh, let's talk to let's talk to the frog first. <laughs> Look, what the well, heck is Aaron, that? Aaron said this is a pixie frog, and it is the uh, second largest species of frog. They ca don't let the name fool you. They can get as big as a dinner plate when they are full grown, so um, way up to about two uh, kilograms. And they're they're ambush. They're ambush predators, so they eat a, quite a lot. They're carnivorous, no. so they, they kind of sit and wait wait for something to go by, and as long as it fits in its mouth, it'll eat it. I work with those guys. <laughs> 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 it's, it's quite something. Uh, and does he make any sounds? Because this is radio. Well, when they <laughs> sometimes it's hard. Yeah, um, a lot of the exotic animals, you don't ha necessarily have the sounds on cue, but you might right. hear the bird as it gets more comfortable, make a couple squawking sounds mm -hmm. and stuff. Now, did you guys get a chance to meet any any animals when you guys oh, came down boy, to the park? Oh, boy, did we ever. Beluga whales, we did that experience. The penguins, awesome. uh, we saw, saw the king. king penguins. We were patting one. Oh, the, uh, fantastic. The stingrays were sucking shrimp out of our fingers. Ooh. Well, that's kind of what we offer at Bush Gardens and Discovery Cove and SeaWorld, those up-close animal experiences, but we blend those with those world-class thrill rides as well. Mm -hmm. And this, this frog here is from Bush Gardens. We, we bring it out, let some of the kids touch it, and the adults have a, a blast with it, too, for the first time touching a, a, you know, a, an amphibian like that. Um, Cypress over here, she's from Discovery Cove. Like you said, you think of Discovery Cove, the, the all-inclusive tropical resort set right in the middle of Central Florida as only dolphins, sure. but people can snorkel with fish, and they have a chance to meet up close and personal some other animals like Cypress. She's a tamandua. Mike, grab that test tube there, this and an she's going to demonstrate the long tongue. Mike's holding up a long test tube, and Cypress can stick her long uh, 10 to 12 inch tongue right down there and Whoa, slurp yeah. it up. Whoa, baby. Look at Very that. interesting animal, and like okay. I said, that's crazy. guests just like you can come to the park and uh, at Discovery Cove and get an up close personal experience with the animals. We're talking with Jay Stutz and our guests here from Bush Gardens and uh, Aquatica and SeaWorld in Orlando, Florida. And you've also brought a ring tailed lemur, which looks, if anybody doesn't know what a lemur looks like, he's kind of got a bit of a mask like a raccoon and a long stripy tail like a raccoon, but he's sitting on top of a young assistant named Jackie's <laughs> head. He's just hanging onto her hair. Well, most people are familiar with the ring tailed lemur, the black and white alternating rings on the tail. The tail is very long. Unlike Cypress, you see Cypress's tail wrapped around Brad. Uh, belt loop oh, there. Oh, that's funny. Well, his tail's not prehensile, so he can't use it to uh, to to, to um, grab onto things. But they use it for coordination, balance, but also for communication. Lemurs, he smells really good <laughs> compared to what a lemur in the wild might smell like, because they do something called stink fights. You guys have stink fights here oh, <laughs> every, yeah. every week. Oh, yeah, sure. Where, where the we have one this will, morning. Actually, get their tail. Night. They have they have scent glands, and they'll rub that on the tail, <laughs> and they actually flick their tail, and and they kind of have competitions when it comes to smell. Oh, boy. And then now, the, the quiet one of the bunch, we, we thought we'd probably hear from here, is this beautiful Macaulay. She was dancing, though. She was. She was dancing. She, she was so. digging Katy Perry. What can we tell you? Beautiful orange breast and green and blue wings. This macaw, how much would it weigh? Um, maybe a couple pounds. Okay. Macaws are some of the largest bird species. And um, so they, they do, and they also have a long lifespan as well. And we kind of, the variety of animals that we're able to bring is, is similar to the variety of experiences that we try to offer at Bush Gardens and SeaWorld and Discovery Cove. What was your favorite part? Did you guys do some of the rides? Or? Oh, we did it all. We did, did it all. We did it all. We had the uh, beluga experience. And my wife and I absolutely love the penguin experience uh, with, the, with the king penguin. So and, you met a lot of animals. And, and that to actually touch one was magnificent. And the us. fantastic thing, too, is there's, there's always something new as yeah. well. Like Discovery Cove, we brought Cypress up here um, in June this summer. They're opening a brand new reef 
It's called the Grand Reef, and it's, uh, it's going to have different animals in addition to what they already provide, the all-inclusive uh, opportunities. At Bush Gardens, we have a brand new uh, exhibit opening. For the first time ever, we're going to have cheetahs at Bush Gardens, but we blend that with another roller coaster. So we always try to incorporate our animal experiences with the world-class thr thrill rides and the Broadway-type shows. What so, about the shows at SeaWorld? Oh, Do you guys see any awesome. of those? They were awesome. They were awesome. So the cheetah thing, if you fall out of the ride, the cheetahs get you? Is that the added thrill? It's, it's kind of a combination. You get to see cheetahs run and see how fast they are, and then you actually get to be a cheetah on a roller coaster that launches you. It's a launch wow. coaster That's great. to see how fast they are. Jay, oh. we're, we're just about out of time, but just very, very quickly, if we can, can we reiterate that all of these animals have either been brought to you or yes, we, they're all rescues? And we we'll do a lot of breeding our, ourselves yeah. as well. We don't Nothing take animals out of, the, out of the wild. wild. Right. And um, it's, it's a very important part of what we try to offer there. And if people want to find out more about our animals, they can visit, or our rides, they can visit SeaWorld.com or Bush Garden com to get more information. All right, we got some more information right here, but thank you, Jay. We've got some more questions for you, too, so maybe we'll keep asking them when the commercials are on and share them with our listeners again, because all these animals you've worked with, there's got to be some great stories. Thank you all from SeaWorld. Thank you for coming by, and uh, and, and I hope that the cold doesn't doesn't you know cramp your style too much, fellas. At least you heat it in here, right? <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Thanks for having us. I had to get my hair done. I mean, uh, honestly, I'd like a good yeah. poo rinse. It is radio, right? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter how your hair The looks. shampoo. Oh, he is the Hello, well, he's been carrying us for years. Hello, so. Hi, sweetheart. Oh. Here, baby. It's all right. We love that. There you go. Get a, forget get about first time hair. We should hold Just lean it with your shoulder. There you go. I'm a car Oh, my God. They jumped. Did you? Yep. Did you really? Yeah, like it looks transitioning. Oh, <laughs> All right, who would like who would yeah. like him now? Over to you. There you go, sweetheart. Yeah. Aw, you are an angel.